Sorry, Hank. <laughs> got you even there. Yeah, I got that. It's bad enough that I lost the girl of my dreams to, but you gotta throw it in my face. Yeah, how long were you, uh, standing back there listening to me spill my guts to Hank? I didn't even see it. It was right in front of my face. She was stubborn, strong, yet beautiful and fragile. There's one reason. One important reason why I have to ask her to marry me. Since I can't live without her. Hmm? I didn't hear all that much. Just that you kind of like me. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> I'm never going to forget agony and pain of all the lost souls in hell. Well, I'm just grateful that the good Lord saw fit to return the three of you to us. You know, I don't know how Charity wound up in hell. I mean, I know Kay said that the demons grabbed her, but why did they go after you in the first place? And how did they manage to get a hold of her? made an offer you couldn't refuse your soul for a chance to have Miguel <laughs> and you didn't give it a second thought you sent charity straight to hell as long as you could get what you want <laughs> uh, what's wrong something's something's happened I can't hear them talking we can hear them either Oh, no, no, not that. No. Oh, spare me. Maybe it just needs new batteries. Listen, if I want your help, I'll ask for it. If you weren't off playing hero, I wouldn't have to rely on this electronic listening device in the first place. Help save Charity. Yes. And it cost me the chance of getting my powers back. What am I supposed to do now? And things were just getting interesting over there. Sam and Grace and Ivy are about to have it out. Ethan and Teresa are at a crossroads. Chad and Whitney are poised to tell Simone that they are an item, <laughs> which of course will break the poor girl's heart. All these precious once-in-a-lifetime moments and I'm going to miss them. Just because of two dud double-A batteries. <sighs> what is it, Chad? What is it that you want to get straightened out? Well, I, I didn't really want to get into this tonight. Why not? If you have something that you want to tell me, Chad, I want to hear it. You're my boyfriend, Chad. I mean, you could tell me anything. I'm afraid you're going to leave me for Gwen. Teresa, that's crazy. Is it? And if you think your mother's justified in going after Sam Bennett because he loved her before Grace. And what's to stop you from going back to your first love? Grace, why do we need Ivy here? Come on, we were talking about the two of us saving our marriage. Which is never going to happen until you resolve your feelings for Ivy. I mean, like it or not, 
She's part of our lives until you own up to your past. Fine. I'll do it right now. Ivy, I don't love you, okay? I haven't loved you in years. You stay away from me. I never want to see you again. Goodbye. Is that resolved for you? Grace, I love you and only you. Now please forgive me so we can get our lives back together. Tell me that you know I love only you. Sorry about that. Again. Don't mind me, I'm just starting to get used to it here. Now, mind if I uh, steal Romeo away here for a second, Sheridan? I promise I'll have him back, just so you guys can pick up right where you left off. Just don't be too long. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were gonna ask the lady a certain question. Well, I am, but this isn't exactly the place. Well, why don't you take her to the right place, then? I mean, I don't mean to be pushing or anything, we got cold feet once tonight already about hey, proposing to Don't her. worry, all right? Lapping. Oh, my God. Hank, I don't have a ring. I gotta get a ring to ask her to marry me. Sheridan doesn't care about jewelry. She just wants you. No, 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 no. I want to spend the rest of my life with this woman. I gotta do the right thing. Wait a second. My grandma, she gave me a ring years ago, and I always said that maybe one day I'd give it to the woman I was gonna marry. Problem solved. But first, tell me exactly what it was that made you a romantic sap. You're looking at it. <sighs> oh. What am I doing standing here talking to you? I gotta get this show on the road. Uh, oh, 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 one more thing, buddy. Clean yourself up a little bit before you go down on one knee. I mean, you're a mess. <laughs> you're right. Look, man, I gotta go. I gotta get ready to ask Sheridan to marry me. Thanks for everything, huh? Don't mention it. Hey, I'm really happy this finally happened for you. Maybe someday I'll find a girl that'll turn me inside out the same way, huh? I wish you will. <laughs> oh. Oh. I almost feel guilty, you know? Being so happy after everything that's gone down here tonight. Don't do that to yourself. Without your help, things could have turned out a lot worse. I'll go. Get a ring on that woman's finger before I decide to try and steal her again. Yeah. I'm going. <laughs> I'm going. So, what was that all about? Ah, uh, nothing. He just wanted to pick my brain. I hope you were able to help him. Oh, yeah, yeah. He seemed... Yeah, I helped him a lot. <laughs> so we say we get out of here. I thought you would never ask. It's so strange. My mind's such a blank about how it all started. Do you remember how I got dragged into hell, Kay? Actually, yeah, uh, my mind's just kind of fuzzy, too. I bet we're probably all just so tired that we just have, like, a brain fry or something. Well, that's definitely understandable. Be right back, Kay. By the line again, I need to talk to you. Are you prepared to give a full confession to everyone, no. Kay? I'm not. There has to be another way for me to get my soul back. Not if you continue to lie, child. You know perfectly well how Charity was pulled into hell. But I can't tell them that I sold my soul to an evil wish that I could have a chance with Miguel. They would all hate me. You don't know that for sure. But there's one thing I'm certain of. Without your soul, 
Your life will be empty and devoid of love anyway. Telling the truth takes a risk, but it is your only hope for happiness. Oh, well, it's not worth the postage it costs to send it. Don't feel bad, Princess. Maybe Radio Bond will refund your money, no questions asked. But that would be too late. I need to hear what's going on next door now. How am I going to spread pain and misery all over town if I'm not up to date on current events? Oh, oh I'm just going to have to go back over there. What about that nosy park on leave? What is he? You know he's already suspicious of Tabitha's role in tonight's tragedy. What if he tries to prove Princess is a witch again? That's just a chance we will have to take. We? But I know how Charity got pulled into hell. Father Lonigan says evil's still lurking in harmony. I'm gonna find out if that evil happens to be named Tabitha Lennox. I'm never going to leave you, not for Gwen or any other woman. But you said that... Look, my mother and Sam Bennett are a completely different story. Look, they never found out if their relationship was viable because they were broken up before they had a chance. It took me a long time to decide whether to marry you or Gwen. And it was hard on all of us, yet I don't regret it. Because now I'll never second-guess myself or wonder if I made the right choice. Do you really mean that? You are the only woman in the world for me, Teresa. You are the one person that I have absolute, complete faith in. The one person I know who is incapable of telling me a lie. Teresa, where did you learn to lie so easily? I believe you even convinced Gwen. Mama, I am not a child anymore. Your little girl is gone. I'm afraid you're right. I don't recognize this young woman in front of me who lies as easily as she tells the truth. I am sorry, Mama. But after everything that's happened tonight, I've realized that I will do whatever I have to do to be with Ethan. Nothing can keep me away from him. Grace, tell me we can put the past behind us and move on. Not until I'm convinced that you're not running from your feelings for Ivy. Look, Sam, I need to know that you've confronted them. That you can put them in the past for once and for all. Sam, if, if I were to take you back right now, I would never be certain that there wasn't a place in your heart that you saved for Ivy. A place for those things that might have been if, if you had never met me. That's not how it would be. I'm sorry, I just have to be sure. Really? I can't blame Grace for having some doubts, Sam. After all, you are the one who always says that a person never gets over their first Will love. you just stay out of this, please? This is between me and my wife. No, Sam, that's the point. It's about the three of us now. I planted years ago are sprouting like dandelions. Oh, Grace is a fool for wanting Sam to see closure with Ivy. He'll find closure, all right. <laughs> and his family will find chaos and pain. <laughs> oh, life is wonderful, isn't it, Timmy? <laughs> you know how much the truth means to me. Of course. I never gave it much thought before until I found out my whole life was a lie. Now it's honesty is the number one quality I look for in a person. It's very important. Right, but that's the difference between the Bennett's relationship and ours. Now, Sam kept a very important part of his life from grace. But you and I aren't going into our marriage with any secrets between us. 
Chief Bennett when he was younger. <laughs> Ethan's father. Well, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, Ethan is Julian Crane's son. God, Julian Crane isn't Ethan's father. Chief Bennett is. Ethan is Sam Bennett's son. Teresa, hey, look, we, we've always been up front with each other about everything. That's why our relationship is going to last forever. You could tell me anything, Chad. Oh, I get it. You want to talk to me alone. Whitney, can you please excuse us? Actually, no, Simone. Look, there's something the three of us need to discuss together, okay? <sighs> Ivy's right. You've always said that no one ever gets over their first love. But all I know... Oh, Sam, don't. I don't think I can bear to hear you try to explain that one away. Just... Do what I say. Deal with your feelings for Ivy, and then we can see if we still have a marriage. Well, what's the point? Sam, we already the know how I feel. Is, the point is, I have to get over all the lies that you told me. I never lied. You never told me the truth. And that's the same thing. And Sam, you had plenty of opportunities to be honest with me, and you decided not to be. So, you say you want to rebuild our marriage. More than anything in this world. Well, then stop arguing with me. Look, I am not a fool. I know that Ivy is going to try to take advantage of this situation. And that's okay. Because if she can take you away from me, then I never had the marriage that I really wanted. She could never take me away from you, Grace. And I hope that this time you're telling both of us the truth. <laughs> you're worse than a fool, Grace. You're an instrument of your own destruction. <laughs> Aha! I knew you'd come back to the scene of the crime. Eavesdropping on Chief Bennett and his wife. Well, I've got you now, Tabitha. And I can prove that you're the source of all the trouble in harmony. <laughs> Don't keep me in suspense. You said you had something important to tell me. Yes. I do. Unhand me, you nit! Help somebody, help! What in the world was that? Oh. Oh, let's check it out. What's all that screaming? I don't know, but it sounds like Tabitha, but I thought she went home to bed. Oh, Lord, it sounds like a banshee! What's going on? Look, it sounds like it's coming from over there. Get him out! Hey, hey that's Will oh, Matt! Oh, 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 help me! She's trying to kill me! <sighs> What's going on here? She's dangerous! I caught her eavesdropping on you, your wife, and Mrs. Crane. He's lying! I've never been anything but nice to the oh, boy. Oh, don't buy into that sweet it. little old lady. Oh, 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 oh. She's a witch, and I can prove it. It's true. Tabitha's behind all the evil that's been going on in Harmony. I knew if I searched long enough, I'd find something, and I did. The exact very thing that happened here tonight happened in this spot hundreds of years ago. What? You mean a house self-destructed? Exactly like the Bennett's house did. First it got burned to a crisp, and then it got sucked into the ground. Except the pilgrims, they figured out a way to find out who was behind it. How? And what'd they do? They made this, this square of evil around where the house used to be. And then they checked everyone within the vicinity. Until they ferreted out one neighbor who was an evil witch! Hey! Hey! Burn the witches! 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 Bur
Phoenix is a witch! Burn the witches! Burn the witches! Burn the witches. You said yourself it happened hundreds of years ago. So what could it possibly have to do with me? Reese, leave her alone. Thanks, dear. Simone's right. I mean, Tabitha's been a good neighbor to our family for years. Don't be such a bully. But she's not the innocent you think she is. Hey, chill out. If you would just make your own square of evil, you would see that she is a witch. Reese, what do you want me to do? Investigate all of our neighbors? Look, hasn't everyone been through enough tonight, huh? Just give it a rest, Reese. Tabitha, are you all right? No, just a bit shaken up, dear. I am so sorry that you had to go through all this. You know, why don't you just go home and, and get a good night's sleep? Thank you. I will. Uh, you know, Tabitha? Yes, Grace? You never really had a chance to tell us why you came over here tonight. I need to get something from my room. Be right here. Yeah, go ahead. Take your time. <laughs> Looks like your mother's put out some new pictures. Yeah, I don't know where she finds the time. Sheridan likes it. Can I help you in there? No, it's all right. I'll be right out. Lars already accepted me as family. Did you get what you needed? Yeah. <clears throat> it's a good looking couple, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know about that, but and sure looks happy. So is the guy. I love this house, Louise. Why, you don't have to say that, Sheridan. No, I, I mean it. I mean, it's so warm and cozy. I mean, it's the exact kind of house that I want when we're... <laughs> someday. Please, you, you grew up in a beautiful mansion with priceless art and furniture. And... I would trade every last stick of it for the personal touches that your mother has added to this house. I, mean, I never felt as loved in the mansion as I do right here, right now. You really think you could get by in a place like this? Get by? I would love it. I mean, as long as I'm with you, it would be my dream come true. Uh-oh. How's Jimmy's princess gonna slither out of this one? Oh, I almost forgot. I was on my way up to bed, and it suddenly dawned on me that none of you dear people have anywhere to sleep. So, if you would like to stay at my house, you're most welcome. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. No, 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 we couldn't impose. Besides, Pilar and Eve have extended the same invitation. Oh, oh well, as long as you won't be out in the cold. <laughs> I'll be off then. <laughs> oh, you know, Tabitha, there's no need to rush off. Uh, well, it, it's late, dear. I need my rest. Uh, uh, I'll be off. <sighs> I'm on to you, Tabitha. One of these days, I'm going to prove exactly what you are. I finally managed to reach the church shelter. I'm afraid all the beds are spoken for tonight. Oh, it's okay, oh, Father. No, I'm Father. sure we can manage. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, I guess I'd better be going. Another one of my parishioners is in need. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much. 
Sleep well, everyone. Just try to remember that the best way to fight evil is by not inviting it into our lives, our homes, or our souls. Be good to each other and honest in your dealings. Just remember that deception is the evil whereby our faith and our security are threatened. Secrets and lies are the tools of Satan. Well, I'll see you all on Sunday morning in church. Okay, Father. Yes, Father. Good night, Father. Good night. Lonigan is right. It's time for me to be honest with Ethan. So you're going to tell Ethan the truth? He has to know that I found out he was Sam Bennett's son and kept it from him. Grace, our house is small, but I am sure that we can fit at least one of you. Uh, that'd be okay. Oh, we can have some more of you stay at our house. Hey, guys, you know, Beth ain't gonna mind if I crash at the book cafe for a couple of nights, so you guys are more than welcome to have my room over the Russell's garage. No, no, don't. Mm -mm. Well, girls, Chad wouldn't have to leave if you two would bunk together. No, you know, Eve, that's not necessary, because after what's happened tonight, we'd really like to all stay together, I think. What about your bed and breakfast, Mrs. B? Well, it's funny you should mention that. It's all filled up, Reese. Um, it's a good thing, because we're going to need the extra money more than yeah. usual. I'm not sure how much insurance company is going to give us towards a new house. Well, why don't we just stay at Tabitha's? I mean, she did offer. I don't know, honey. I think that would be a great idea. Why not, Daddy? I mean... She is our closest neighbor, so Mom will be close to the shop and B&B, &B, and besides, I think she'd like it, you know? She's always talking about how lonely she is. I guess that little doll she carries around is in great company after all. Well, what do you think, Sam? What well, isn't my first choice, but, uh, if you're game. Oh, you know, Jessica's probably right. She could probably use the company. <sighs> all right. Then it's settled. I'm gonna take a quick look around. See if there's anything we can salvage. Sam. What do you want? I just want to know when we can talk. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Sam, come on. Don't be so stubborn. You know it's what Grace wants, and deep down inside, I think it's what you want. Look, too. for the last time, I don't Sam, want to go. Sam, we have never had closure. Grace is right. And besides, you've been hiding behind her drab and dreary... Look, that's enough! Look, I love Grace. She's the only woman I love. Do you understand? Stay the hell out of my life. Do you have time to talk to me now? Uh, um, maybe we better wait. Okay. All right, well, um, I'll see you later. I'm going to go help Kay. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you later. Okay, bye. Simone still has a thing for you, doesn't she? <laughs> it's worse than that, man. She thinks it's mutual. I've been trying to tell her about her, and her sister and me, but... Uh, hey, man, it's tough. Uh, it'll be okay. How about you? Well, you know, the truth is, I've been to hell and back, but I can't stop thinking about the lowlife who told the tabloid and undid my life as a crane. That's, that's ancient history, man. Not to me, it isn't. Look, I... I not until I find out the name of the person who knew about Sam Bennett and me and didn't come to me first, then it will be ancient history. Along with the person who knew. 
Chad and I have been trying to tell you to be honest with Ethan this whole time. Mm -hmm. I know, I was just too scared I'd lose him. And now you're not scared? No. Because I figured out the perfect way to keep Ethan with me, even if he gets upset. Okay, now you're starting to make me nervous. Is this some wild scheme or something? No, no, not at all. It's just so obvious. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. I'm gonna sleep with Ethan before I tell him. Tired? Exhausted. It's been a long day. I should probably want to go to bed, huh? No. <clears throat> no, not really. I just thought we could stay up for a while. Yeah. Do you, uh... Oh, you want to watch TV? No. 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 Tonight I want to, uh... Tonight I want to tell you how... No. <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> Tonight... I want to show you how much I love you. You don't have to prove anything to me, Louise. Oh, I do. Whew. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tonight, it, tonight could be one of the most important nights of our lives. And I want it to be perfect. It's all gone. My brother's family's lost everything. No, not everything, Hank. At least they still have each other. I hope you're right about that. What is Ivy still doing here? Why doesn't she just go home? Sweetheart, you know the answer to that. She lives to stir up trouble between Sam and Grace. That little game won't work. Whatever my brother and Grace have to face, she's not coming between them. Grace, I found something that you might like. Yeah, my angel. appreciate him while he's still around because once he's gone he's not coming back Jimmy wants Princess to read a chapter from his favorite book Oh, don't be a baby, Tim Tim You can read on your own Yes, but Princess does all the voices so well See? <laughs> Very well then Where were we? Oh, at the really scary part, when the Wicked Witch of the West was going to hurt Dorothy and the Scarecrow and the Cowardly Lion and Jimmy's favorite, the Tin Man. <laughs> Jimmy hates that Wicked Witch. How could you? She's the heroine of the story. Far more interesting than that gang of nervous Nellies bumbling around. Hoping to find a, a phony wizard to help them with their pitiful problems. <laughs> no, the wicked witch, she was just misunderstood, that's all. I empathize completely with her frustration. But th there she was, minding her own business with her army of flying monkeys, when along comes this pack of namby pambies trying to steal her best shoes. Actually, it was almost identical to what happened to me with the Bennett Bunch. <laughs> well, they won't be a thorn in my side any longer now that their house is destroyed. And with them out of the way, I will be able to firm up my plans for mayhem and chaos this summer. Uh-oh. Jimmy just thought of something, Princess. 
Where did Bennett take Princess up on her offer? What offer was that? Princess said that the Bennetts could come and live with her now that they don't have a house. <laughs> and that wasn't a serious invitation, Timmy. <laughs> I mean, I was just being polite, and anyway, they had me on the hot seat. She was not sure they got that. Oh, I'm sure they did. And anyway, I'm the last person they'd want to bunk up with. Besides, even I couldn't be that unlucky. Oh, no. It couldn't be. Jimmy thinks Princess better open the door. If you don't mind, Tabitha, we decided to take you up on your wonderful offer and let us stay with you. <gasps> Tabitha! 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 Look, I'm not going to take this lying down. I mean, some, someone most likely that I trusted knew who my father was and kept it from me. But dude, that doesn't make him the same person who sold you out to the tabloid. Look, we talked about this before and I don't see there's any difference. Whoever it was owed me the truth. If they had one shred of decency, I wouldn't have to find out that Sam Bennett was my father the way I did. I'm never going to forgive this person, Chad. Never. You're going to sleep with Ethan so he won't break up with you? Yes. That way, when I tell Ethan that I knew that Sam Bennett was his father, he can't be too hard on me. He'll know how much I love him because I'll have given him my most precious gift. My virginity. No, no, Teresa, you cannot do this, okay? You can't use sex to keep a man. Whitney, it's not sex. It's making love to the man that I am going to marry. Look, you can't talk me out of this. I have thought about it, and I'm going to do it. I am going to sleep with Ethan tonight. Over my dead body. <laughs> 